In Paravalno, a Ukrainian military base in Crimea, a Ukrainian soldier stands warily inside the gate. He looks out upon scores of heavily armed Russian soldiers. His commander reports being told to hand over the base and come out with any weapons. The Ukrainians have thus far refused. Russian troops have surrounded all military installations in Crimea controlled by the Ukrainian army. Moscow's funneled thousands of troops to Crimea, claiming that the peninsula's Russian-speaking population is under threat from Ukraine's new interim government. What is Crimea? It's a peninsula on the north coast of the Black Sea that was part of Russian territory until 1954. That's when the Soviet Union's leader, Nikita Khrushchev, transferred it to Ukraine, which was then a Soviet republic. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union, Crimea has remained part of Ukraine, even though most of its inhabitants are ethnic Russians. Crimea is also home to Russia's Black Sea Fleet. How much of Crimea is now controlled by Russia? At this point, all of it. Raising Russian flags at border crossing points, Ukrainian military officials say Russian soldiers on the peninsula now number 13,000, some troops coming directly from Sochi, where they've been providing security for the Olympic Games. Russia is also amassing armed military vehicles on its side of the sea crossing that separates Crimea from Russia, increasing the pressure on Ukrainian forces that are now effectively cut off from the mainland and the leadership they're pledged to serve. The Russian movement suggesting that Russia plans to stay in Crimea for the long haul. That's the short answer.